Hi guys, so Question Time can be a bit hit and miss on most occasions, but while politicians generally struggle, it's really the audience guests that speak the voice of the people. Support for Boris Johnson is taking a bit of a hit at the moment, and it seems that while the pandemic rallied support around the Prime Minister, the cost of living crisis is driving a wedge between the Conservative Party and its voting base. This gets us to this lady who used to vote Tory, but will not anymore. Her message was not complicated, it was in fact very simple. Have a listen. Yes. I can't tell you how disappointed I am with your government. I just, I, I really can't express in words um, the mess you've made. Um, I sat through the pandemic and I watched money being hemorrhaged away, money that we could well do with now. I think you're out of touch. You're dealing in millions and millions and trillions of pounds. You know, the cost of everything and the value of nothing. We're up to there in debt, wishing we were taller. I don't know what to say to you other than just the lot of you just go. Just go. And, I, and, and this is from someone that voted for you. What a disappointment you are. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this is wonderful because she's not she's not making a point about a particular policy here. It's very high level. Uh, it's very open ended, and this is almost perfect because political junkies like myself and probably people watching this would generally be waiting for a policy. Okay, what which particular policy is she complaining about? Which policy is she attacking? But she's not. She's talking about money being wasted. And I love how she talked about billions and trillions or billion or millions and trillions, whatever. And she's this is something that I've been banging on about for a while, how Rishi Sunak, Boris Johnson and the, the Conservatives will talk in millions and billions. We're spending a billion here and a million here, a hundred million here. here. We're going to uh, spend 50 billion on, on this project or on this um, initiative for people. And for ordinary people, this sounds like a lot of money. And in many cases, it is a lot of money. But if you're concerned about money being wasted and you're concerned about the future, you're going to say, Look, why are you spending all this money on, for example, test and trace? Uh, 37 billion pounds that was money gone um, Dido Harding has you know hasn't hasn't been seen for for I think almost a year how can we can spend all that money there and then when it comes to helping people we can't spend it we have to cut back so I think this lady represents a big problem for the Conservative Party she's not a young person she's an older lady she's the voting base for the Conservative Party and if they're turning, if they're beginning to turn on the Tories, the Tories should be extremely concerned. Now, an election is probably around the corner. We don't know. It seems, and I'm not sure if this is correct or not, but it seems that the Fixed Term Parliament Act has been um, undone. So that means that Boris Johnson can probably call an election at his convenience. Um, he can decide that which I think is a problem from a democratic point of view. I don't like the idea of um, a prime minister looking at the polls and then calling an election. Parliaments should sit for the amount of time that they should sit. Uh, they're supposed to sit for, you know, a certain amount of time to implement legislation, to implement a manifesto. And they should not be changed at the whim of a prime minister because they think that they're going to lose out or they think they can gain a few extra seats. But back to this lady, I think if I was a Tory uh, spin doctor or strategist, I would be extremely concerned because this person is not attacking a specific policy. She's just basically saying, we're tired of you. You've disappointed us. She's almost like <laughs> a grandmother disappointed in her child, in her grandchild. Let me know in the comment section, guys, uh, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.